hey guys welcome back to my another video in this video i'm going to uh, cover the uh, prime ng so basically the prime ng is is the uh, angular ui component library that we could use in our uh, applications there are a lot of the ui library available for angular such as material bootstrap and many more but in this video i'm going to show that how you can install it and how we can use it uh, the prime ng so let's get started so i am in this uh, prime ng uh, web site here so basically if you go and get started then you can also see or watch this video which they cover it and or you can also follow this video as well so the first thing is this is my angular project and i'm going to show the uh, package.json file here so i'm installed the uh, latest angular which is 12.20 and my the prime is also going to be a 12 point some version there which will, which i'm going to install the latest one so let me install this prime ng first so once i install the prime ng i need to install the prime icon as well so now let me copy this guy and let me go to the, my visual studio which is uh, right here so let me install this one as well okay now let me install the uh, the prime uh, icon as well so now i'm going to install the prime icons okay the both uh, packages has been installed if i go check here then my prime icon has been installed and prime ng as well and the next step is to add the uh, css so now let me add this the prime icon css from my from my node modules to my uh, project so what i'm going to do in my angular.json file uh, on style here what i'm going to do i'm just going to add this uh, css okay we need to add this as a double quote here otherwise it's going to mad so now let me do this double quote here similar with this one double quote and here a double quote as well okay so now once i add it now let me get started my project so i just do ng sharp all right so now let's wait for a bit okay guys looks like my the the project has been already started so now let me go in localhost 4200 and here it is so now let me try the couple of this component here the first thing is let me go on the a uh, button here so if i go in button here now it also guides you how to use a bottle button the first thing is i need to import the a button which is from the prime and g so now let me go back to the here in my project so now in my app dot modules we should be here somewhere so i need to i will import this basically we can also import this uh, prime ng modules creating a separate modules file and import it there everything but for this video i'll just install it here i'll just add it here so okay once i add it so so now i'll just copy this button or html which is p button prime button which will be a key set here so now let me go in the app here so i'll just remove all my html which is coming through it and i'll just save it and let's see that i can see my button from the prime ng here it is so here is a two button so this is the a p button or we can also use like this or this is a button that is coming from the uh prime ng prime looks like this does not have a ripple effect on the button so if we want to install some ripple effect then we need to do some setup here it also has uh, the uh, the documentation which shows that how we can use uh, the uh, the ripple effect and here it's also something called prime flex so we could also install a prime flex if we want to use some grid system from the uh, prime flex then we can install it and uh, it's not required but it's highly recommended because it has a lot of grid system which is very uh, useful when you're building the applications and if you're using this component for your applications right and not come yeah component library I, I mean the library for this for your applications so now let me go to the uh get started here i'll just i would like to add a ripple effect as well so here is a ripple effect so basically on your main component on your app component which is i have it here so now let me go in my app component i will just add this as a constructor here and i will just add this effect okay ripple effect is true so i will import this and i will just save it and let's see that i can see my ripple effect okay guys i installed the uh, the angular animation as well and we also need to import the uh, ripple modules which i didn't do it i just activate our uh, ripple on our component here i think that's the issue that we didn't see a ripple effect 
so if i go in my component here i can show you the uh, my uh, ripple effect has been activated but i haven't imported any ripple module so there is a separate ripple module so that we could import it and i'll just uh, save it in our my app component all right so now let's see the button has a ripple effect or not if i refresh it and still it doesn't have it uh, and still it does not have the ripple effect and it's called p refill directive that we need to use it basically because it doesn't have it the ripple effect so if i use a p refill directive so now we can see the ripple effect finally guys here it is we can see the ripple effect so basically we need to add a directive here to see the ripple effect add the ripple models and after ripple model we just need to add a p ripple which is basically is a directive that we need to add it here here is a documentation for uh, how we can add a ripple all right so so uh, so guys after i tested the ripple effect now let me test the uh let me test the toast with toast looks good okay i'm in toast here so basically now if i go in toast so see it's going to give you a little nice message so let me try this the first thing is what we need to do is we need to import the toast modules uh it's straightforward so i'll just go in my uh, app component and i'll just uh, import the toast module and if it's nowhere to import it, it will import it here. But if it doesn't know, then what we need to do is we just need to copy it, right? We just need to copy this guy and paste it here. So basically now it's import the toast model. So we could use the toast models. The another thing is what we need to do is we need to use something called message service. Okay, so message service we can need to put into a provider. It's not in a root level. So I just add the message service here already, but we need to add the message service as well. So now if I go back to the app.component.ts here, I don't have anything. I have only the ripple effect, which I use a directive for it. So in add single, basically it's just uh, send the a message here so basically we need to use this message service so i'll just add this message service here as well so if i add the message service now i need to import where the message service is coming from and it's coming from the prime ng api it's pretty nice so now we have this so but we have already a button here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the uh the event basically this is going to uh, the event on this button add single so add single is basically it's going to trigger this message and this message will trigger uh, the toes but we don't have any toes so what we need to do if i scroll down then i need to tell that where it's going to show up my toes right so if i go here i'll just save it as a left top so you know let me see if i click it here here it is left top the message has been sent and my toes will receive it and it will go for top right if i go for top left sorry i mean if i go for top right then it will show up on the right side here a really nice message and if i click it here it's going to show up yep this is the toast that what we can really going to use it here so now this is this all the component what we can use it and i'm not going to go through for all of it but this is the how we can set up and we can use the really nice good component from prime ng and thank you very much for watching guys i hope you guys learned something new on this video and i'm also learning something from prime ng which is which i added here in in this video and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now